Hello and welcome to MotoGP Connect, brought to you by Tata Communications. I'm Susie Perry and this is the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. In this series, we'll meet some of the unsung heroes behind the scenes of MotoGP and explore the impressive infrastructure and technology that enables the spectacle that you see on your screens. And today we're going to be looking at how the action on track gets delivered to fans all across the world. MotoGP is one of the biggest global sports and produces over 28,000 hours of broadcast. As you'd imagine, it takes a lot of organisation to run the championship, not least the infrastructure required to support the 59 broadcasters currently delivering MotoGP all over the globe. There are 120 onboard cameras on the MotoGP bikes alone, 25 cameras around the track, plus four mobile cameras in the pit lane. Add the gyro camera on the helicopter and the high speed one for dramatic slow mo shots, and we have a total of more than 150 different views of a race, plus the 360 degree camera. Improved picture quality, multi screen viewing, instant replays, multiple camera angles, all controlled by you, the viewer and it's been made possible by some amazing technology powered by Tata Communications. The new performance, the better performance, clearly through our media partners, through our media platforms uh, in the MotoGP.com and all our platforms in the sport, clearly are giving access to more and more fans around the world thanks to the service of Tata Communications. They've also made life simple for Dorna, the organisers of MotoGP. One fascinating example of that are the Tata Communications connectivity pods. Previously, it would take many hours to rig the equipment and deliver media services at each MotoGP event. Now, thanks to these two clever expandable units which are shipped around the world and delivered to the track at the beginning of each race week, all that has changed. Reducing time and effort whilst maintaining quality by enabling a seamless and repeatable setup week in, week out. These custom-built pods have helped to transform the broadcast operation and the experience that you get as a fan. So, how does the story that we're telling get to your screens? Well, essentially, what you've got here is a self-contained, fully functioning mobile data centre which is controlled by the operations pod next door. Let's take a look. The tech pod contains all the equipment to acquire, encode, monitor and transmit the live content around the world via the Tata Communications Network. The combination of using fibre and satellite ensures the live content is available for distribution 100% of the time. So in basic terms, that's the tech pod. But what happens in the operations pod? Whenever I'm live, whether I'm in the paddock hunting down Valentino, Mark or Andrea, I'm constantly being monitored by the Tata Communications Service Delivery Team. That's Dave and Steve to you and I. They're testing, checking feeds and signals at every step of the journey for any potential issues. In the operations pod, we are connected to the Tata Media Services Operations Centre, to the Dorna Master Control Room and the broadcasters. This enables experts who aren't on site to be able to run the operation remotely by the touch of a button, just as effectively as if they were here at the track. Ultra low delay encoders, huge bandwidth and the low latency Tata Communications network facilitates remote production. This helps optimise resources and delivers cost savings across the whole production team. Dorna TV producer Sergi Sendra can control any camera at any track, anywhere in the world, in real time, from the Dorna HQ in Barcelona. How amazing is that? Having Tata Communications on site not only simplifies logistics, but also increases quality and reliability for Dorna and the on-site broadcasters. They benefit greatly from the increased bandwidth and plug-and-play setup, enabling them to bring you the best of MotoGP throughout the season. So that's it from MotoGP Connect. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.